Hi everybody, Allie here from Chibitronics. Today we're going to be creating a card combining animating and regular LED light stickers. Let's get started. I have already began creating my card base. We're going to be using this cute Manjango clear stamp set called From Me To You. And we're going to light up those cute little headlights on the car. I've already created our cutie patooties and I've backed open areas of the headlights with some vellum. I've also kind of figured out the position of my car on our background and I've cut circles for the headlights already. We're going to attach that background to the frame aspect of my kind of circuit building base here. The blank panel on the right hand side shown right there is where we're going to build that circuit. I've also put a number eight backed on the back of that moon so that when the moon is lit up it's going to show through but you can't see it beforehand. We're going to add in that ground, we're going to glue in our car and again that die cut background with the stars is also backed with vellum so it is transparent but not too transparent. We're going to add in that car and we're going to put it over top of those two holes for our headlights. Now we have a cute little greeting that we're going to use as our switch to turn our lights on and off and we're just going to put that in the little cow's hand. So the recipient is going to press that sentiment to activate the lights. All right, let's go and build our circuit on the inside. I've taken an exact, exact replica of that background die and I've located where my headlights are. So I'm just going to trace through. Now we're going to kind of locate where our moon is located. And then we're going to choose four stars within that pattern to light up as well. So I'm just tracing out the four stars that we've decided. So we also need to position that switch. So I know it's kind of over top that little teeny dot on the right side. And we're going to put that in. Let's put our switch in. These are self adhesive. You just bend the two score lines, peel off the backer and apply it to your circuit surface. Super duper easy. This tells this just helps hold the battery in. We're going to use our brand new stencil. This has everything that you need for creating your circuits. All it is is a trace and go. We're going to locate two of our regular white lights on our moon and they're going to reveal that number eight. I'm going to actually overlap the tips on these two to make it easier to create my circuit. The heart shape is also going to be used twice and we're going to put some more LED regular lights and we're going to put in some white blinks at the bottom. So let's create the negative side of our circuit. It always starts on the base or the bottom of that battery holder. So what I'm doing is I'm connecting all of the negative sides of our stickers. So I'm just creating basically those lines to connect them all up using the side of our stencil there. It's so much easier. So to grab onto both of those stickers on the moon, I'm going to put a line of tape right down the center and it's going to catch both sides of the negative aspects of the, both of those stickers. So it just saves time. And because I want my stickers a little bit on the close side. All right, we're going to continue that negative line down. I'm just trying to figure out uh, what way would be the best to pick up all of the negative aspects of all of my stickers. We're going to grab those blinks. They're gem shaped. And now we're going to start with the positive side. We're going to go a little quicker. This time we're also going to cross over the negative line right there. And I'm going to show you how to solve that problem because when you cross a negative and a positive, your circuit will not work. So I'm going to show you how, an easy way to fix that when we do our circuit building. We're going to build a little bridge. Just I indicated it there with those funny little lines. 
and we're going to create a bridge for our circuit so we can run our copper tape, which we're going to apply now. Um, actually, that was our new copper tape packaging and I'm actually going to use the conductive fabric tape on this particular circuit. I'm going to start in the base of our switch or our battery holder and our conductive fabric tape is very bendy. Once you peel off that backer, you can twist and turn and manipulate it around corners, around bends, you can make curves. It's very, very flexible. So I'm just going to take that conductive fabric tape and fold it back on itself when needed to do corners. And I'm just gonna cut the backing off as I go, just because sometimes it gets in the way. And we're gonna follow all of those blue lines to finish up our negative side of our circuit. And sometimes it just doesn't want to cooperate. There's too many bendy things. So again, just following that blue line all the way across. And you can move, use multiple pieces on a, a same side of the circuit. So you can see how I've used one piece now. Now I need to go up and grab that one little sticker on the right hand side there. So I've cut a new piece, it's a brand new end. And we're gonna capture that along that negative side. We're gonna do a little trim. Make sure to give a good press to make good contact. And then we're gonna continue on with the upper part of that negative side. So you can use multiple strips of paper. You could decide not to bend the conductive fabric tape around the corners. You could actually just cut it flat and overlap your pieces. So it's kind of whatever you desire. I like to use one piece if I can. I just think that the conductivity um, just remains a little bit higher when you use one piece. But again, like this circuit, you can't use one piece. You have to use multiple. We're gonna finish off that negative side of our circuit going between those two points of the eventual white stickers. All right, so now we've got to deal with that bridge. And all I'm gonna use is a little tiny piece of cardstock. All you need is just a barrier to put over your next layer or your positive side of the circuit. So as simple as that, all it is is just a little piece of cardstock wide enough to ma basically mask off that conductive fabric tape. All right, let's start on the positive side of our circuit and the tape must start on the inside of that battery holder. So it needs to touch the top of the batteries and that's why I like to start it on the inside and then you just follow your red lines. We're gonna do a quick bendy bend around that corner. And I'm gonna take that tape all the way out to the end of that piece. Now, I'm gonna show you, I actually cut my conductor fabric tape a little bit too long. See how it's touching the positive side, which we're doing now, is actually crossed over the negative side. That cannot happen. Your circuit will not work if it's touching. So I'm just peeling that tape back. It's not cooperating well, but sorry for being off screen, but we're going to trim that back a little bit so that they're not crossing or touching. And I'll show you that in one second, the fix, there we go. So now that piece of tape is no longer touching that negative side and we can continue on as our circuit grows here. There we go. So it's all about bending, flexing, and covering up that positive side now. And like I said, you can overlap and cut multiple pieces to create your lines. We've got to go back and capture the one on the moon side there. And we've got to grab one of the stars on the other side. There we go. There's our circuit. So the red side is the positive and the blue wrapped side is the negative. And there's our cute little bridge. And that solves the problem of a incomplete circuit. All right, let's apply our LED white blink stickers. They are gem shaped and it's just a peel and stick. 
Now make sure that the negative parts of this sticker go to the negative side of the circuit. And on each sticker, it is indicated which side is the negative and which side is the positive. Let's put on some white fade LED stickers. These are animating stickers, which means they do a task. They don't just turn on and off. They actually create a blink or a fade or a twinkle, that kind of thing. Now, I have just placed that last sticker on incorrectly. We will fix it. We're going to put some yellow lights on on some of our stars. And see, I've just discovered that my sticker is on backwards. So if you ever find that maybe a sticker isn't lighting up properly, it may be because the negative is not on the negative side of the circuit. And all it is is just a peel up and re-stick it. So it's very, very easy to fix. So we're going to go in now with those yellow stickers. We've got two of those for our cute little stars in the background. We're going to put some white LED stickers on now. And we're going to light up that moon. So this one is the place where the two tips are going to cross. So you can now see that the two tips go over top one another. Okay, there are our stickers all applied to our circuit correctly. You can see the stickers are very clearly labeled plus and minus. Let's put in the foam inside our battery holder slash switch. It's just a peel and stick. Mine was not cooperating with me today. There we go. And of course, you're going to peel the upper part uh, to close up your circuit. Always give it a test. Now, I realize one of my moonlights is not working. Okay, we're going to do a little patch job. So you can buy these conductive fabric tape patches, or you can take your conductive fabric tape off the roll and just do little strips to patch. Both are fantastic. And this fix is super duper fast. So I'm just going to press them over top of the sticker. And now it makes a perfect connection. All right. So now we're going to close up our card and we're going to seal it up so it's closed. We're going to turn off the lights <laughs> and we're going to activate our card by pressing the switch. So our headlights blink and our white stars in the background, they fade in and out. Our two yellows and our two whites underneath the moon, they can, they remain solid. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you've learned something. Feel free to hit the subscribe button and like the video and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Thanks guys.